Good morning, Sheridan. This weekend is a traditional time for expressing appreciation for our blessings. In my house, it's usually a time to gather with family and friends for reflection, celebration, good food, and a lot of laughter. I long for the extra day of rest and relaxation and typically leave the weekend feeling rejuvenated and reconnected to what matters most to me. Of course, this year we're heading into a Thanksgiving that will be unlike any other and that will be challenging for many of us. Just when we are on the cusp of a holiday weekend, we're faced with an alarming and repeated rise in COVID-19 cases in Ontario. This is both scary and daunting. Unlike prior years, we also have travel restrictions and guidelines on indoor and outdoor gatherings that are informing our choices. As you enter into the long weekend, I urge you to continue to be diligent in looking after yourself and the people you love. I also hope that you're able to connect virtually with those outside of your immediate family and caregivers to check in on their well-being and help them feel part of the celebration. If you are separated from family and friends or feeling lonely or need some extra help, we have many resources available for you, all of which can be found on Sheridan's COVID information page on our website. No matter what you have planned for the days ahead, please accept my sincere gratitude for your continued endurance, your tremendous patience and resilience, and for embracing our shared responsibility to care for the health and well-being of our entire Sheridan community. Earlier this year, our collective sacrifices helped to flatten the curve and ensure that our hospitals had the capacity to help those who needed it the most. And now, as much as many of us feel like we're done with COVID, it's becoming increasingly clear that COVID is not even close to being done with us. We're all being urged to wear a mask in public, maintain physical distance whenever we can, avoid unnecessary gatherings, and practice good hand hygiene. If you feel so inclined, we've included a link at the end of this video where you can take a pledge to continue these actions to once again stop the spread. As I begin to prepare for Thanksgiving here with my immediate family, I want to thank you for reinforcing these selfless acts of generosity and kindness that ensure the safety of everyone around us and that truly keep with the spirit of this season. On behalf of me and Bennett, Olive, Ken, I extend to you my best wishes and thanks.